Good morning, Busby. You've got Miss Bashand on this beautiful Thursday morning. Absolutely stunning. The birds are out, the sun is shining, and I'm coming to you from a completely new place in Busby's school. Where am I, Busby? Where am I? Can you figure it out? Okay, that was a little bit of a fib. I'm not actually in Busby school today because today is an extra special day. I was invited by our fire chief, Mr. Stitson, to come take a quick tour of the Busby Fire Hall and the trucks and all the fun stuff. And what's kind of fun is that when you're the principal, people assume that you're responsible enough not to touch all the fun buttons in the fire truck. But uh, check this out, guys. Check out this panel here. How there's a, a button that says, oh, I don't know if you can see it. It says whale, yelp, and peer. How am I? That's really loud. Oh, geez. There's buttons everywhere. It's kind of fun. Oh, that's what whale sounds like. Should we see what Yelp sounds like? <coughs> How about peer? What's that mean? <coughs> oh, that's peer. Oops, exactly. There's so many fun things. This one is for my kids who hang out at the fence um, at recess. And when the semis go by, I see you guys all do this. Okay. Um, ready? Here we go. <coughs> So much fun, so many fun buttons, and they're letting me push them all. Mr. Stinson said, hey, have fun on the truck, go ahead. Okay, so let's take a look what we got here. I'm gonna extend my, now I cannot fool you guys. So I'm sitting in the front seat of this really cool truck. We'll get down. So you got two people can sit up there, and then in the back here, let's go this way. I'm gonna climb into the back. I've honestly never been in a fire truck, Busby, so this is pretty cool. We have all these fancy seats here. We've got four seats here where the fire department, where the firemen get to sit. And they've got all, it looks like they've got all their Scott tanks ready to go. Um, so when they sit, they can just slide them on. But look at this. I get to sit in, it feels like I'm in an airplane actually. It's so fun in here. Take a look guys. All this fun stuff in here. We got all these, these ones I'm not gonna touch though. Look at all these levers. I'm sure this controls the water pressure and all the hoses. So much fun. Let's take a look. Coming out the other side now. So I got a quick tour this morning and I'll, I'll show you what I got to see. Um, so this is the new addition that they just recently, in the last few years, put on this fire hall here. Um, and you could tell they really needed the space. I honestly don't even understand how they got all these trucks in here before. So we're in the brand new bay right here. We got the fancy fire truck. Um, and then we've got the, the rescue truck right there. And the very back on the other side of the fire truck, I'll take you there's a water tank. Water tank truck, the tank truck. <clears throat> all this fun equipment here. Oh, guys, you got to check this out. So this is in there. Uh, this is a... Uh, incident it's an incident support unit so it's a big trailer that they've outfitted okay but take a look what's inside gentlemen ladies get ready for this <clears throat> this is one of the coolest side-by-sides I think I've ever seen so I'm in the trailer right now and you can see they've got this massive side-by-side -side on tracks nonetheless how cool is that this is so they can go out uh, when there's grass fires and it's too, uh, uh, the earth is too soggy to get the big trucks in so they can put this in there. This is good for ice rescue or if there's a snowmobile incident and they have to go back in uh, far into the, the trees or whatever to try to find uh, someone, they can do this on this side by side. There's enough room it looks like for four or six, four adults, maybe six smaller people. And in the very back there's a, uh, a little uh, water tank so that they can go put out grass fires. This is so fun. Okay. And then behind me over here, we got the tank truck. Check that out. We got portable water there. And then this is kind of like their locker room. Okay, they were walking into. This is where all their gears hung. They each get their own kind of fun locker there where you can see all their coats. And they got name plates. Let's see. I'm sure this is our fire chiefs right here. Look at that. I think that's our fire chiefs right there. Keep scrolling around. There's actually a lot. I asked Mr. Stitson and he said there's about 25 volunteer fire uh, firefighters. Um, not uh, as many are currently um, busy with fires. They're not, they're not consistently going out with fires, but there's about 25. So that's really amazing that these people will work busy, busy jobs and volunteer their time to make sure that we're safe by putting out, being available to put out any fires. So you can see 
They've got everything hanging up in here. Oh, there's just tons and tons of gear, okay? Through here then is kind of where, oh, look at this. We're gonna put them on camera. They're not gonna wanna be on camera, but we're gonna make them awkward. There you go, look at that. We've got Mr. and Mrs. Stitson here sitting, and this is where they come after they do a fire. Uh, they'll come in here and debrief and talk about what went good, what went bad, what things really worked. So they have a chance to do that in this space right here. And then there's this other fantastic space that's kind of new. Um, and this is part, um, part of the Lions Club as well. So we have some seniors that hang out in this space. Um, or if they do some big trainings with the fire department, um, they can hang out in here. Do you guys have any idea that all this stuff is in here? I'm really excited about the shuffleboard. I gotta get in good with the seniors so I can come and play some shuffleboard. Kick some butt, if you know what I mean. So yeah, all in all, Busby, really special assembly. Kind of cool stuff. Let's head back out to the to the big bay here where the big trucks are. Big tour. This is actually my first time in uh, the Busby Fire Hall. I drive by it, obviously, a few times a day, but it's really neat to finally be in here and see kind of behind the scenes. Pretty cool, hey Busby? So thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, I do want to wish a very happy birthday to my birthday buddy, Mr. Griff. Um, his birthday is tomorrow, May 8th. And so I wanna wish you a happy, happy birthday, Mr. Griff. There will be a birthday stick for you uh, when your mom comes and picks up your package on Tuesday. Okay, um, also Busby on Monday, Remember, take a look in the stream of your Google Classroom where you will receive our next Busby challenge, okay? I will tell you my one hint, it involves babies. That'll keep you working, that'll keep you thinking all weekend, okay? With that, Busby, have a beautiful weekend. I know the weather is supposed to get, it's supposed to get some rain tomorrow, but still, take some time to get outside, um, get some fresh air, run around, get ready for school on Monday. Talk to you later, bye, guys. Bye.